Welcome back everybody to Space Engineers. Okay, today is moving day. We're moving pretty much all the ore out of that container. I've moved it all into the containers on the uh, rover here with the assistance of a uh, basically a boom with a connector on top. Now you may notice that some of these uh, pistons are not quite standard. I'm actually using a mod called, uh, I think it's the Piston Pack for DirectX 11. It's quite a good pack, so I strongly recommend that uh, folks actually do look into that. Alright, let's get in, and hopefully let's not kill ourselves on the way down. Currently the uh, vessel does weigh uh, 1.5 million kilos. And with that in mind, I'm going to save the game for one. And then I'm going to save it again as another point and save. Now, uh, let me just check the blocks. Um, I don't know why, but it looks like one of my connectors is not here. So maybe switch lock. So it's currently locked. And I'll also have an on and off because unlocking is great, but it's still going to grab. So I'm not really wanting that. So we're going to unlock. So we, we are now currently rolling. Uh, right, let's go into third person mode. Uh, driving at night is probably not the wisest idea. In fact, I might just change my lights just a fraction. So I've got a small ship, control panel. Now I've also got the, these things called the long range spotlights. This is also another mod. Um, can't remember exactly what it's called, but uh, it's actually not too bad. We're going to go and increase the range of this so I can possibly see a little bit better. Okay, that's that actually is, is illuminated pretty much everywhere right now turn off okay so it's off that's great and hopefully I'll take the park brake off and we can get this thing moving all right doing well doing well doing pretty good I don't know why I can't steer however Okay, we're just going to ride our park brake a little bit. You might notice there's a little bit of stone on the ground. Okay, obviously, I'm not getting any steering. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to basically shift the weight of the vehicle forward. The way I'm going to do that is... Uh, let me see. Go to the groups. I think I've got some groups here. Yeah, rear wheels. We're going to... The height offset, we're actually going to basically bring that up. So now, the front wheels should be a little bit more higher than the driving wheels hopefully that that'll be it well there's still got a little bit of play oh yeah and this spin, the wheels are spinning now maybe I might, I might might have to make them a bit softer and uh, drop them perhaps do, 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 do. Right, we had dropped the height offset down as much as we go. I can feel my feel the vessel rolling. Yeah, the wheels are spinning. Okay, we're getting a little bit of steering uh, available now. So the problem with actually having uh, the rear of the vessel um, pretty, basically it's rear heavy. I've got all the drive on the wheels, but I've got no steering at all. Hmm. 
definitely a problem. Well, it's probably not going to be a problem as soon as we start going downhill. Uh-oh. Here we go. Right, we're going to ride the uh, park brake all the way down. And hopefully we don't pick up too much speed. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm quite comfortable with this. This is not too bad. As long as we don't increase our velocity uh, past, uh, well, I wouldn't, maybe even um, 20k an hour, I would be very scared with that. So we're just going to try and get make our way down the hill and back down to the base. So this is probably a good point for a time lapse. Oh, yep. Okay. This is where I, I have died and going to uh, reload the game. Uh, no, not save changes. Load the world. Um, let's go for that load. I've got a feeling that's probably not going to be the load I want. I want the one, the load before it. Hopefully, it's not where I'm rolling down the hill. Okay, it's not the place I wanted to be. All right, fine. I suppose we'll uh, begin the time lapse once again. And, oh, awesome. Home sweet home. Let's just actually bring the, uh, we'll bring the rover pretty much right up against this uh, ledge here. And we're going to park it right here. Because I reckon that's going to be pretty safe. I don't think it's going to basically go anywhere. It looks pretty secure. But, uh, be on the safe side. I'm just going to knock out this block here and we're going to put a wall so it's not going to go anywhere because these things have a habit of rolling and I really don't want it to roll away considering what it's got. We have got, uh, let me see, a good amount of iron, nickel and cobalt, pretty much over 50,000 each. Actually, no, we've got even more of that. This container has got to even more iron. So what I'm going to need to do is look at basically the base. What am I going to do with it? I could uh, basically continue this slope down to the... Uh, to the large cargo pod there, but... To work on a slope is really difficult, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start uh, welding some of these things up and see what, uh, so I did actually have a bit of an artistic plan to this, uh, God knows what it was, but we're gonna, I'm going to start welding this up and we're going to continue out a platform pretty much straight out to the uh, lake's edge and then we'll work on things there. All right, so this is probably another good point for a time lapse. Yep, 
Now, it was mentioned in the comment section that I should uh, be having some efficiency uh, upgrades, especially when it comes to uh, efficiency. At least there are, there are definitely some upgrades I should be having, especially with my refinery. And I'm going to take the, uh, them up on that uh, suggestion. And we're going to go to the uh, modules here, and we're going to get effective, effectiveness modules. These will give us bonus uh, ores when it comes to our refinery. Now, if I could only just get that one located in the way that I want it. And like that. Apparently these things are fairly cheap and I'm pretty sure I got most of the resources to do it. Everything except metal grids and motors, which I may have on the ro on the rover. Sounds like something I might have. Oh yes, we've got the metal grids. Uh, I can't get them out there because that's got a, a conveyor sorter on the end of it. So we've got to go basically get in from through here. So there's those. I might put the uh, ore back in there and I'll take some motors too. So that should be able to finish that off, I dare say. Awesome. So we're, I'm just going to double, well basically we're going to use all three, or four slots I should say, with these modules. I'm not really worried about power to be quite frank. So there we go. One there, one there, and one there. Because we've got the uranium very, very close by and I just need construction components to construction components and probably small steel tubes. Because I, with all this uh, iron that I've got, I would definitely like to get a, a good platform sorted out. Okay, so they're girders. Hmm. Okay, we'll take the construction components. Uh, probably going to just basically go to the assembler and see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, we've got some small tubes as well. Very nice. So you just need more metal grids there. Same, and that one's completed. More metal grids, my dear sir. Thank you. Uh, I'll just put those back in there, and those also. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. This refinery is, of course, in a temporary location. I'm not entirely happy with where it is at right now, but uh, it's going to do for the time being. At least until such time as I can get the base pretty much sorted the way I want want it to happen. So I'll put some of the iron in there and we should get bonus amounts of iron. Well, that's the theory, anywho. So if we go to the info, I think it's, no it's not even on the info tab. Currently it's 200% uh, effective and it's costing me 560 kilowatts which is something i might have to do something about like right about now and that is put a uh, nuclear reactor uh, in around here although i have a feeling i don't have any uranium about the place so I'm a little bit behind the eight ball here. Oh, I've actually got, uh, well, some iron there, not a hell of a lot. Uh, I've got some motors. Okay. I may have to go digging around in the, in the uh, ground for a little bit of uh, uranium, basically get the power supply of the base up and running. At least it's so we're not actually starving. Starving for power is no fun at all. Yeah, yep, number six, right there, cool. Let's spin that round so it's on top. And we'll hopefully, oh, uh, construction components, uh, reactor components might be running short on. 
Yeah, I'm basically scratching around for bits and pieces right about now. Okay, uh, what was I need? Construction components. Yep, that may just about do it. Large steel tube, can motors, and can reactor components. Hmm. Well, I got 57 there. I'm going to need a little bit more than 57. That's for sure. Now, what was I needing? Uh, that's right, motors. Was also something I required, and tubes. More tubes, more reactor components. Well, let's see. Can I make some more reactor components? The answer to that, of course, is yes. Yes, I can. We'll make the hundred. Now, I'll grab some more of the tubes so I can finish off that component of the uh, reactor. And we probably will be getting very close. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Very good. Actually, I might just leave the steel tubes in there and we'll take as many of those as we can. Awesome. So let's go to the refinery. Uh, no, there is no uranium there. So I may just have to go for a little bit of a wander out to the lake. Well, the frozen lake that it is. Dig up some more uranium and basically process that. Get the the plant, the station will get the base up and running. And yes. So basically the plan is that top platform, I'm just gonna extend it out like a roof, and we'll start building things on top of that. Rather than have uh, basically the machinery going down the hill. Because I don't think it would work that way. I could even start maybe at... Well, I could actually keep the refinery at its location and start the platform out there. At that level. Sounds like a plan, I think. Yes. We'll keep it where it is. For the meantime. Keep the refinery there, keep the assemblers there. Pretty much I'm just going to have a, a line of assemblers, a line of refineries, and we'll just basically fan out from there. Okay, this looks like a probably a good place to probably leave it off. I'm going to go down to the uh, lake, go grab some uranium, so we won't have any problem with power for the next time you join us in Space Engineers. See you all then.